So if you've ever looked at the sidewall of a tire, you may have seen a whole bunch of letters and numbers and thought they were just random. However, they're not. Here we're gonna go over tire sidewall decoding and we're gonna develop an understanding for what those numbers and letters actually mean. So first off, here's a quick breakdown of just kind of an example of a sidewall. It can tell you Department of Transportation, can manufacture and plant code, the tire size, manufacturer identity number, week and year the tire was made, all good, valuable information. So first off, that decoding process, what does it actually look like? What does it involve? Well, the Department of Transportation number known as the DOT number consists of, and this is just an example, the DOT impression, the plant code, manufacturer, date of manufacture, and keep in mind that tires made after January 1st in the year 2000 have four numbers in the last group, while prior to that there are only three numbers. So that can, again, help determine just on a large scale where, where that tire may have been originally made. They all follow this same general pattern. I'm going to go through and break this down a little bit further. So retread tires do, um, DOT number decoding is slightly different than a just regular tire. So keep in mind that the retread tires um, have slightly different numbers. They have something called DOTR, Department of Transportation Retread, or R indicates that it's a retread tire. So be careful of that. If you see that R, it's going to be indicating that this is a retread. Um, YPY is Manufacturer Retread, Goodyear Retread, um, uh, in Canada, this was where this was manufactured. So again, it can tell you with that code, or at least identifying that code, it can then go to a conversion to tell you exactly where that was particularly made. And we have the date and year of manufacture. So if we're looking at something that is a 1201, that would indicate it was made in the 12th week of the year 2001. So an example here of 0802, this tire was manufactured in the eighth week of the year 2002. So common tire um, designations that we see here, again, the same kind of indication occurs. Uh, we have this example here. P stands for passenger tire. This 185, or in this example here, 195, is the approximate width of the tire measured in millimeters. 65 is the aspect ratio, R stands for a radial tire, and 15 is the rim diameter in inches. So again, a little confusing that measures one thing in millimeters, another thing in inches, but these are just what these numbers correlate with. So if we take this tire and kind of break it down into a little bit more specifics, uh, we'll take a look and see and decode this sidewall here. So first off, we see the P. Well, P stands for passenger tire. Uh, so these tires are often called uh, P-metrics. Note that the LT stands for light truck, ST would stand for special uh, trailer, and T would stand for temporary. So in this case, we see a P. This is a passenger tire. The absence of a letter at the beginning of the size description indicates that it's a Eurometric tire. The 225, so we see here, the 225 represents the approximate um, section width, or width of the tire from sidewall to sidewall, again, measured in millimeters. The larger the number, simply put, the wider the tire is. Uh, the 60, 60 refers to the aspect ratio, which is the nominal sidewall height reflected as a percentage section width. So the sidewall height of this tire is 60% of 225, or approximately 135 millimeters. Um, R here, R stands for radial construction, which is the industry standard for passenger cars and light truck tires. Um, a, B, or X, and the placement of R would indicate the tire has um, a bias or ply construction. The 16 is the rim or bead uh, di uh, diameter. 16 represents in inches, keep in mind, the diameter of the beads, which means that this tire is designed to fit on a rim with a 16 inch diameter. The 97V is a service description, and this final component of the size designates is called a service description, indicates the load index uh, and the speed symbol of the tire. So a load index of 97 in this example is a two or three digit code that represents the maximum load the tire can be carried at speed indicated by the speed symbol. So this again, getting into a little bit more of the specifics, and this is why when you're choosing a tire for your vehicle, uh, depending what tire it is, there's a lot of options uh, provided. They're not just all tires, so 16 inch tires, anything will do. There's a lot of uh, specialty descriptions to keep in mind to maximize the performance uh, and match the performance of your particular vehicle.
And lastly, here's the full sidewall information. So this kind of gives you just that general summary there, everything that I've described here, how it looks on a tire. So I invite you to go out, um, look at the sidewall of any tire. Uh, if you, and if you have one in the parking lot, you go to a parking lot, just take a look. And hopefully you can, with this video, describe a little bit or develop an understanding of what those numbers and letters actually tell you about the specifics for the tire you're looking at.